In this video, I'm going to share 10 great gift ideas for musicians and ocarina players, no matter what your budget is. What's up, Akamigos? My name is David, and in light of the holiday season, I wanted to share 10 gift ideas in two categories, five for musicians in general, and five specifically for ocarina players. And with each category, I'm going to begin with the least expensive, working our way up to the most expensive, with links to all these items in the description below. With that being said, let's get started with the musician category. One of the most important aspects of being a musician is having well-functioning ears, so you're going to want to do everything in your power to protect them, especially if you're constantly around loud noises. But rather than blocking out sound completely, like with those disposable earplugs you find at gun ranges, you want something that's going to dampen the sound so that you can still hear what you're playing, but it's a lot less harsh on your ears. That's why I love these high fidelity earplugs by Eddie Modic, which are standard in the music industry. They've been proven to reduce sound by 20 decibels without making it muffled, they're comfortable, and at about $14 a pair, they're easily replaceable. They even come in a couple different colors to choose from. Truly one of the best investments you'll make in your music career. Assuming you don't play all of your music by ear or by memory, it's nice to have something that holds up your sheet music or method of books properly, especially if you're standing, and in those cases, a music stand is your best friend. They basically come in two different styles, the kinds that fold up, which are generally more affordable but also can be a little flimsy. These are great if you travel a lot and don't have a lot of packing room. The alternative is the heavy duty kind like my man has sheet music stand, which is super sturdy though a little bit on the heavier side. One of my favorite aspects is that it can also double as a table for my ocarinas when I'm doing live performances and I never have to worry about it breaking or tipping over. A question that I get a lot from beginning musicians and new ocarina players is how do you know when you're playing in tune when you don't have a well-trained ear? And my frequent answer is an electronic tuner. Electronic tuners like the Cork TM50 have a little microphone built in that listens to what you're playing and visually shows you if you're in tune or not. This particular tuner also has a built-in metronome to help you keep time, which you can listen to with the built-in speaker or even plug in your own earbuds. I take this thing with me everywhere. Another question I get asked a lot is about microphones and which one is great to start recording, and although I shift between three or four different ones, most of those require additional audio gear like a mixer or audio cables. So if you don't want to buy a bunch of that extra stuff, a really great plug and play microphone is the AT2020 USB by Audio Technica. I like this mic a lot because not only is it a nice condenser microphone with great sound quality, but it's also easy to use. It uses a USB connection so it goes straight into your computer, and then you just need some recording software like Audacity or GarageBand to get started. The main thing I don't like about it is that it comes with a really flimsy tripod stand, so I replaced that with a tabletop mic stand that was less than $20. I'll include a link to that too. Finally, for my musician suggestions, if you ever need to practice or play along with pre-recorded music and backing tracks, a high quality Bluetooth speaker is a great accessory, and even though I've played with a bunch over the years, my current favorite is the Boom 2 by Ultimate Ears. This little speaker packs a punch. It has a great EQ balance between the treble and bass, it's super portable, the charge lasts for a good while, and just look how cute this thing is. It comes in like 10 colors to choose from. It's also water resistant, has a downloadable app to control volume, and if you don't trust your Bluetooth signal, you can plug an auxiliary cable straight into it. All awesome stuff. Now moving on to the Ocarina gifts, I'm going to start with a shameless plug because earlier this year I came out with my new EP Ocarina Road, which has six original songs written specifically for the Ocarina, and at $6 it makes a really good stocking stuffer. And I also have my original album Leave Luck to Heaven still available as well, so please buy them. I'd also like to share a few affordable ocarinas, but I have to warn you guys to please stay away from those super cheap Zelda replicas you find on eBay and Amazon. They start from like $6 up to like $12 or $15, and they're really poor quality. They're really cheaply made and poorly tuned, and for your best interest, please stay away from these things. Tell all your loved ones. Instead, if you're new to ocarinas and don't have a lot to spend, I highly recommend these three plastic ocarinas, which have great sound quality. One of my favorites is the Plastic Soprano C by Focalink Stein, which comes in two styles. The Brio, which is a little louder, a little more piercing, and great when you need to grab someone's attention, and the Osawa, which has a much smoother breath curve and a more subtle tone. But still, trigger warning for your pets and loved ones, because these things are high-pitched. Second, for the Zelda fans in your life, Songbird's Plastic 7-Hole is an awesome and affordable Zelda replica based on the pendant fingering system, which is pretty good quality. And finally, the Knight by Noble, which you can't even tell is plastic. The tone on this thing is incredible. One of the very first ocarinas in my collection was a Raku pendant by Songbird Ocarina, and just recently they started reproducing Strongfire versions of these, one of my favorites being the Cocapelli and Soprano B-flat. It looks awesome, has a sweet but soft tone, and makes the perfect portable musical instrument, and even a great starter ocarina. Now since ocarinas can be pretty fragile, it's usually a good idea to have some extra cases on hand, and one that I use a lot when I'm traveling, especially with multiple ocarinas, is this large handgun case from Cedar Mill with pick and pluck foam. 
I have another version of this case from a different maker that was about $20, but for that extra 10, you're getting this special perforated foam that allows you to customize the shape to whatever it's holding. So no matter what shape or size of your ocarina is, you can be sure that they're gonna fit safe and snugly. This next item is truly one of the greatest inventions for the ocarina because a problem that we often face is having to play our ocarina softer when that's just not how the instrument works. The nature of the instrument is that the volume is set in and so it's difficult to play at certain times of the day, especially really late at night. That's why the Ocarina player Milt from Japan invented an accessory called Mr. Mute, an attachment for your Ocarina that greatly reduces the sound but still keeps it audible for the player. Although it works for most Ocarinas, it has a bit of a steep learning curve in getting the settings just right, since there are so many different models out there, but after a little experimenting, it works like a charm. It should be available on Amazon over the next couple weeks, and then I'll be doing a more thorough review about how to find the custom settings for your Ocarina. And lastly, I have to give an honorable mention to one of the greatest gag gifts for musicians, the automaton. Shaped like an eighth note with a face, the automaton is an electronic instrument that has a fretless board that you slide your finger up and down and press. It's pretty ridiculous, but so much fun. That's gonna do it for this video, and as I mentioned, all the links to these items are in the description below, but I'd love to know which of them were your favorites, and if you have suggestions for other gifts for musicians, please leave those in the comments. I'd love to check them out. As always, a very special thank you to my patrons for making these videos possible, and if you'd like to support this channel as well, please check out the link to my Patreon page in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, and until next time, I hope you guys have a blessed week. See you then.